we thought it was challenging leaving the house with what? a baby, but it's actually much harder leaving the house when you're going camping, given you have a baby and a dog. So, <laughs> whose idea was it to get a camper? Not mine. It was mom's. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? Yep, ready to go. Let's do it. Are you tired? Nope, not at all. I'm good. Let's go. Last night, Chad found us a RV resort. It's in Lottie, California. So it's like south of Sacramento, like further in in the state. And uh, they had availability for today for an overnight stay. The guy's like, okay, just make sure you're here by four. We're like, oh yeah, we'll be there way earlier. We're going to get an early start. So there was a few things we had to get from Target. So we went to Target. It opened at eight. We got there at like 8.30. We spent two hours in Target. Had a cart full of items. I think it was close to $300 uh, of what we spent at Target. Of things that we, of course, we needed to go camping today, right? For one night. Got home, started packing things up. And yeah, finally left the house at about 1.30. So I do not think we're going to make it there by the time the guy said to make it there. What time did the guy say to make it there, babe? At the resort place. By four o'clock. Oh, yeah, by four o'clock. So we'll see if we make it there by four. It is currently two o'clock and what's the ETA say? Oh, we've got 34 more miles to go. So we just stopped for gas. So we're pretty sure we got everything for Zev, everything for Kona. However, we had to take one trip back because we forgot our pillows and Chad's hat. But then the further we drive, we're starting to like think of other things that we forgot. How are you holding up? We're good, we're gonna make it. We're surviving. Um, we've managed to stay married, so that's really good, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so we'll see. We just arrived at our place that we're gonna stay tonight in Lottie. It's called like Flag Resort. And uh, last night we watched this awesome video by some YouTubers who do the whole camping thing. And they had this awesome checklist on what to do. We pull up and I asked Chad like, okay, did we take notes last night from that video? He's like, of course we didn't. I'm like, okay, we watched this awesome video and now we're like, okay, we really don't know what we're doing, but I guess we'll figure it out. for some coffee. Right, you want some coffee? Oh yeah. Coffee time. We brought the French press, so we'll do it camping style. And of course, tis the season for a little pumpkin spice.
cinnamon, apple, oatmeal, some honey on top, Get some walnuts. So we are packing up everything and getting this thing ready to go back home. We had a good night last night. Uh, what we did find out is the double bunk mattress is not that great. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to find something else or get some sort of topper put on it or something because it really wasn't that comfortable. Um, Zev slept pretty well. Yesterday when we got here, we didn't have hot water right away. We kind of thought maybe it needed some time. I know at a house it takes a long time to get hot water, so we didn't think anything about it. This morning we woke up, went to go take a shower, and we had no hot water. So luckily for all the Good Samaritans that come to RV parks, we had three of our neighbors helping us all, you know, at different times coming over, like, oh, you look like you need some help. Um, everyone was super friendly, and we eventually just called the dealership, and they were great. They had a tech walk us through everything to kind of troubleshoot and see. Bye. There's one of them right there. <laughs> <laughs> so they had they had us you know they walked us through different things to check to see what could possibly be going wrong try to troubleshoot the problem and we didn't figure it out so um, the guy at service was like okay well we think it's a mechanical problem hot water unit so no issue at all um, he said either we can find someone to come out to where we have it stored and fix it there and they'll pay for it or next weekend we'll have to take the hike out to the dealership which is about it'll take us like an hour and a half to get there and uh, but they're very cool they're gonna fix it for free so that's awesome um, we've had such a great experience with Bill Eads RV uh, I would definitely refer anyone to go there so so far, that's it. Everything else worked great. We had no other issues. I know when we first got here, one of the neighbors came over and helped us unhitch the trailer from the car. And he also showed us, you know, different things to do with the water, the sewer, all that good stuff. So, like I said, such a great experience. RV people are amazing. So, very, very helpful. Yep. We just went to go unhug the, well actually not even unhug. We went to go drain the black tank and we found out it wasn't on right. Yep. And this is what we have. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if this did the trick. Watch out. What happens when you now? What do I do? There you go. All right, now we're going. So I've been asking Chad, what is that smell? I smell like the worst smell ever. I'm like, is it like well water? Is it maybe, I thought maybe our sewer line was leaking. Chad's like, no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> And we went to go open the black line and everywhere. It was just, that was definitely a crappy situation for about, I don't know, 10 seconds. 